Welcome back to the Heads Up Show. It's Steve. We got Preston Battle in the place, y'all. So Preston, welcome. Thank you, man. Welcome. I'm, I'm excited to be here. So Preston is officially a Green Gridiron employee and we are gonna use you for so much. I'm, I'm ready. Just, <laughs> let's, let's do it. Today, we're gonna start to pot a little bit, man. We're talking Tim Tebow. Tim, Tim Tebow. He's back in the game and Preston had the idea of, oh man, let's do a Tim Tebow inspired Jags build and I was like, oh hell yeah. We're gonna do a Jacksonville Jaguar Speed Flex Authentic helmet and we're just gonna make it better than what Tebow's actually gonna yes, wear. Sir. Yeah, it's, it's obviously been a while since he played football. We're gonna uh, try and put together something that he would wear. Yeah, so before we start, for those of you who don't know who Preston is, tell the people about yourself. What is it that you do and why, why are you here? <laughs> well, I'm Preston Battle. Uh, some of you might know me as Battle Customs. I've uh, been customizing helmets on my own for the last four or five years or so. And uh, just recently I graduated college. Uh, I had kind of a dream job offer come up from a dream kind of company. Moved to South Carolina and here I am, ready to work, put some cool helmets together for you guys. So you've built hundreds of helmets and you got a big social media following yes, too. So uh, we're happy to have you, man. I mean, yes, it's, it's a win-win and it, it really just shows you that um, if you're doing the right things for the right reasons, um, th things can happen, and I hope that we're that place for Absolutely, you. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Th things have lined up in the craziest way, but I couldn't be more thankful to be where I'm at. Yeah, it's I'm crazy. He took a big move uh, up from Florida, and uh, he, he took the dive to Greenville, South Carolina. So anyway, why don't you start building this? Let's do it. I'm I, ready. I don't want to build today. I'm going right. to watch well, let's you. Let's do it. All right. So Tebow, obviously, not going to be a quarterback. When he comes back into the league, he's switching positions, moving over to tight end. His, uh, his old college coach gave him a call, <laughs> brought him out of an eight or nine year retirement. What do you, yeah. what do you, first of all, I'm just helping you. Uh, we're gonna throw on white face mask hardware because we think it'll look cool even though we know the Jacksonville Jaguars don't wear these, but we just think it'll look cool. What, sure. do you, what do you really think about the, the whole Tebow thing? Honestly, yeah. interesting is a good way to describe it because I'm not, I'm not going to say that I'm thrilled. Obviously, there are other guys. You can make the case that other guys are more deserving, but it came down to who he knew. And to be completely honest, I think Urban Meyer owed Tim Tebow for a couple national championships. I think so, too. And to be honest with you, can you blame Tim Tebow? Like, think about it. If you got that call... Don't tell me you wouldn't be like, no, give it can't, up to somebody else. Can't blame him. No, no. But I agree yes, with a lot of the people out there. It's kind of unnecessary and it's a ratings grab. Yeah, absolutely. But so it made, made a lot of headlines. Got yeah. a lot of people to comment on social media. So. Yeah, man. And yeah. they got Travis Etienne come in and they got Trevor Lawrence They got another in. quarterback who's staying a quarterback. <laughs> exactly. So we're going to go with the sports star Victory T-Rex Hurricane and the Jacksonville Jaguars are pretty heavy sports stars. So this is pretty true to what they'd wear on the field. Absolutely. You know? But for we sure. gotta we gotta swap out those cam lock. I'm sorry, the ratchet strap for the cam lock. So I'm gonna get them ready for you. Yes, sir. I'm gonna take this old chin strap off. Not only is it an old ratchet strap, it's a soft cup. I don't know anybody that willingly played in a soft cup ratchet yeah. strap. It's yeah. just you just don't. Luckily, we've made made some progress from there in terms of innovation. Mostly what you're gonna be doing here is basically running a retail room for us where you can come in and see us and you can get fitted for a proper helmet for field use. You can upgrade your collectibles. So it's new for us. We've been wanting to do a room like that for quite some time. We just weren't ready and you were like the last you were the missing link, yes, so sir. let's see how it goes. I'm excited to help out and get started. Well, soon enough that room will be ready and we're excited to see how many people we can get to come by and visit us. I'm gonna rip off the old American flag that came on here, just replace it with a little nicer, shinier embossed tech. These embossed tech flags, they're just awesome. They have like that poofy nature and we started selling these to teams actually almost three years ago now. Boom. So it's funny you buff that. I would be doing the same thing. 
Yeah. This is not a molded helmet. This is a gloss black. So if it looks a little shinier than normal, you're not going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. So every so, time I see a fingerprint on it, I just kind of, uh, just kind of have to get it out of habit. <laughs> All right. Chin strap. Next? It's your world. Just throw the chin strap on there. I like it. We just changed out the ratchet strap like we were talking about. A lot more user friendly. Oh yeah. I would say of a chin strap than the old ratchets were. So this is an SF2BDC face mask. I don't know if Tebow's gonna be wearing this, but this is a C with the closed eye. It is a pretty ag aggressive alignment style, but I could see a tight end wearing it. The Definitely. tight end that doesn't catch a whole lot. Yeah, you know lock him tight end. He's not gonna be catching a whole lot of balls, I'll tell you that right now. He'll be moved the full back before the season's over. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and this is the Oakley Legacy 45% smoke. As you may probably already know, Oakley is the official visor of the NFL now. So it's all you're gonna see during game use. That's it. What a deal. Huh? Honestly, it's, it's kind of sad to see all the other ones out of the game, but to be honest, they've really stepped up their game. Yes. Oakley has come out with a lot of great stuff recently. Yes. I'm, I'm a big fan. Yes, they have. I'll take this out of your way. Let's try to snap this thing on here. I always feel like I'm gonna break these when I try to put them on, but they normally end up fitting okay. The Shock Zero G Plus and the Oakley Pro are made for the Speed Flex, mm -hmm. and you you just put it near the face mask, and it's like they install mm -hmm. themselves. You do have to um, kind of mess with these a little bit, but once they're on, they're on, and they still look, fit super yeah, nice. Yeah, they, they look nice. They look the nice. classic Oakley kind of bubble shape sticks out the front of the face mask. You yeah. can tell. The Shock Zero G Plus, though, I got to tell you, it's amazing how it fits. It's Speed fantastic. Flex. I yeah. love it. I could put Zero Gs on Speed Flexes all day. Shock's killing the game right now. He's doing. Visors. He's doing. Yeah, he's they're doing great. Getting it done. All right. It's as good as it's gonna sit before we put it on the helmet, but let's get it on there. That's it. All right. There it goes. All right. Dude, Loosen that was that chin strap a little bit. That was quick. This looks awesome. I think that you're gonna see more and more teams wearing these face mask colored Definitely. clips, right? Absolutely. Um, we go through a ton of them. And it's really nice to have. Dude, good work. Thank we you. wanna know, what do you think about Tim Tebow? What do you think about this helmet? And now that Preston's here, we're gonna do some build offs. We're gonna each grab a box. We're gonna run around the shop. We're gonna gather all the stuff we want. We're each gonna build our own helmet. It's up to you to decide who built the better helmet. You already said it'll be you, right? I did. So yeah. we're just gonna be watching Steve's competition. <laughs> hey man, good to have you on board. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank man. you so much for watching. Thank if you there's guys. anything else that you wanna see that we haven't done yet, leave your comments below. Be sure to tell your friends and your family and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, Cheers.